understand, but why would you say that this guy's moratorium would actually really help? That's and that thing is that the and moratorium... welcome back to Jeff Quinn again live point. at the poolside of the Intercontinental Hotel. Ahmed from Isili says, Twitter leo ni moto kama maziwa ya gamia. And it is smoking today with Kamkunji Member of Parliament Yusuf Hassan and activist Power 254 team leader Team Courage Boniface Mwangi on the bench today. Twitter handles at MP Yusuf Hassan, at Boniface Mwangi, mine at Kunangi Jeff. Hashtag State of the Nation. Tweets so thick, so fast. Peter Koet says, I agree with Boniface Mwangi on amnesty. We have been talking of arresting forever and no arrests. McDonald Marcel says, let's come back to reality. How does the common Mwananchi in Madare benefit from the rich declaring their wealth? Joki Mboro says, as Bob Colomore earns 10 million, the watchman who's bracing the cold, watching over the Safaricom empire, probably earns 20,000 shillings per month. One more. David Leo says, let Boniface Mwangi not fool anyone. I dare him to disclose how much his organization receives from foreigners. <laughs> Old foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> so, David, uh, let me do free publicity for Power 254. Go to www.power254.org. There's a website. Everything is there. You'll find your answer. That's it? Yeah, go to our website. It's power254.org. We have a festival on Sunday in the Nairobi streets. Come for a free festival, free concert. Is Giuliani going to be there? Yeah, he'll be there. Declaring like, his wealth? Giuliani is a private citizen, actually. I'm a private citizen. He's a public official, and he's actually required by law to declare his wealth. But Colin was a private citizen. But because he's part of a presidential task force on corruption. Let me, Safaricom let me, is partly owned uh, by, by the government. By the by government, the state, right? But he's not obligated by the state to actually declare his wealth. Let's talk about this thing. Why are we not asking the president to make his wealth public? And the Does it president? bother you what his wealth, what will it do what, for you? What bothers me is that if you're going to lead the war against corruption, you need to be seen to be clean. But he but said on BBC clean. one time, he mm. did declare his wealth. I yeah. think he did no, no, an no. interview on but BBC. Jeff, um, he files return. He's a Jubilee MP, so give me as equal time as him. No, but I'm, I'm no, saying so the president is now leveling me. No, <laughs> no, but he's a Jubilee MP, it's true. <laughs> so the reason why... And what are you? To, are you an, uh, a code activist? No, I'm not a code activist. I'll never vote for that's given. Who are you so, going to vote for? Someone else who's so going to vote. So you have buy. a political position. No, you have an ideological no, as a position. Citizen, like everybody. I do. I'm a yes. socialist. So why would I'm you pigeon, <laughs> pigeonhole me in order to reject my no, perspective and my view? The reason I pigeonhole this guy yes. is because we came here with one agenda saying. Your people, agenda. No. Mm. Okay, our agenda. We actually <laughs> agreed. Me and him. We yeah. have finished that. We, no, we declare our wealth. <laughs> yes. And then we compel everyone, including the president, to declare his wealth. But now, he's, since we sat on this chair, he's going like this, like this, <laughs> like this. Because I'm even saying, Raila Odinga, how much is he worth? Tell us. You think they're going to declare their wealth benefits? If they don't. You're dreaming. If they don't, let me, let me, do yeah, the, not vote for the, them. The, the question is not just the declaration of wealth. The question is, how have you earned that, that because, wealth? Because the moment Did you declare... Did you earn it honestly? Yes, that's Who's going to declare? Listen, I mean, how many people the, will do it, Jeff, Listen, the moment you declare, we query your wealth. We say, okay, molasses will talk awapi, NYS, NYS will talk awapi, Western Hotel will talk awapi. Start asking these questions. Where you go, you have a hundred million house, we know your salary, how did you get this money? Yeah. If you took a mortgage, how much are you paying interest? Yeah. Let me tell you, the moment you, you put it on paper and you sign it, if you lie, you're guilty. And Moshimu, it comes to my point at the beginning of this show, and it was like, you know, who cares? Who cares who declares and, who, you know, going forward? Does anybody care? I think it helps if we, if um, because of accountability, transparency, uh, we need to declare our wealth. Mm. But the Thank question you. is that, uh, the question is members of uh, public, public office holders belong to families. Uh, they have uh, wives, they have children, they have other uh, factors that um, need to be protected in terms of their privacy. It's, it's just not right, just because you're a public officer, that we would, uh, uh, we would uh, throw you naked into the public. I think there is an element, there should be an element, and I, 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 don't, I, I don't subscribe to that as a person. I'm willing uh, to be accountable and to be transparent uh, to the extent possible. But a lot of the public officers would reject that because of their privacy, 
It's all about privacy. If, yes. your, if your money is mm. legally acquired mm. and it's honest, hard working, mm. like, you, or like Bob Collimo, he worked for his money, he earned his money in the right way. What are you afraid of? Because public service is about being a public leader and a public okay, servant. Okay, let, let me give you a different example. Because Colin Moore is, a, is an ana anomaly, if you will. Mm, yes. He's not Kenyan. He's almost Muzungu, if you will. He's an expat. He's my friend, but I can say this. What if it was James Mwangi saying that he's worth, he gets paid 10 million shillings a month? That would be fine. Yeah, no, but, um, no, but you're not right. Up -row. Why? He's, a, he's, a, he's working for a private company. Well, I mean, uh, are they going to do that? Joshua Oigara said no, he was going to declare. let me ask you. You guys don't have a problem when someone is going around this country giving 17 million shillings a week. You're not even asking where that money is coming from. Who said that? It, it's there. It's you you read it in the star. You think it's right? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> come on. You you no, you can't trash people you know, like come that. Come on, you read it in the headline. <laughs> What's wrong with the headline? Because it just screams. He wants to sell papers. No, let me tell you. You can't bully me like Tony Gashoka. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Because you did no, not go I used to bully people. It's a fact. I can actually say, Western Hotel. Yeah, questions. Let's ask questions. Right. Okay. That's, that's fine. And alleg allegations. No, allegations. He's, he's holding the fort for Jubilee. He's that's not he's holding here. fort, but... but do, do, okay. Those allegations, that's what they say. Yes. Once the deputy president tells how much he's worth, we can actually question how he got his money, because we know very well, historically, historically, since 92, he was part of Youth for Canada 92, helped collapse, collapse the economy of this country. He can actually tell us where has he worked, how much did he earn. They're simple questions. Mr. Deputy President, yes, you're fighting corruption. How, how did you acquire your wealth? Because he's an extremely wealthy man. Huh? How did he become rich? That's, those are easy questions for him to answer. So people ask me for about my wealth. The people should be actually asking about their wealth. These people who give out money like Sonko and Joho, guys who have been mentioned in drug dealing and land grabbing and murder for hire, prostitution, uh -huh. child trafficking. Disclaimer. Yes. Thank you. Why are we not asking these hard questions? Because Kenya is known for electing rapists, looters, thieves. Don't go to committee. If you want to know where the thugs are, go to parliament. Go to work. But look at this Listen, man. He's in parliament. Let me, let me finish. He's a, this is an exception. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, yes. ghost workers. They are yes. very good the, well, parliamentarians. Yes. They are elected by the Kenyan people. Yeah. If yeah. the Kenyan people elect uh, what you're saying... Criminals, those then, guys. No, no, <laughs> then you, you should look at the Kenyan but public. Where ghost you're workers, a, listen, in fact, okay, you're okay, criticizing okay. the Kenyan public. Files disappeared in mm. parliament. Yes. We have been having ghost workers on the payroll. Mm -hmm. No one blew the whistle. You know why? Justin Moturi was arrested once for taking a bribe as a magistrate. One million shillings. If you ask Duale, he owns part of Garissa. How I did you get that land? That is not, uh, that, the, those, are those are allegations. Yeah, me? Those are allegations. They say about the Duke Tony Gashoka. Take, take me to court. I'm telling them. Yeah. Sue me. Who's going to sue you? You have two million. Ah. Or oh, you, you're worth three million. Two million will go. <laughs> you, you're just... <laughs> you're just paddling. You're, you're just paddling. Uh, no, no, no. But going back to ghost workers and going back to... You are libeling and defaming no, 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 no. honorable people. Correct. No, I can't on say, uh, on I national television. No, listen. Justin Moturi mm. was once arrested for taking a one million break. He was a magistrate. And the AG appealed that, that, that case. The file disappeared. So there's an appeal pending somewhere. When he was magistrate. No. Now he's speaker. But, but the file disappeared. So because he was acquitted, the Attorney General, the DPP uh, uh, appealed. The file disappeared. My, my point is the best, the cream de la cream of criminals, the mafia in this country can be found in government and that place. Okay, so Moshimua, which leads to my question. Can we fight the cartels? Can we fight the mafia? Can we fight the drug barons or the corrupt people? Can we fight those? Yes, yes. We now, as I, I have <laughs> said earlier, that we have the political will. We have a leadership and a president who is committed. We have the legislation and well, whatever loop, loopholes and gaps that exist. We need to come together as parliamentarian uh, and, and fix that, bring the, the, the legislations that are required. But also, as parliamentarians, we need to um, uh, energize and, and, and make sure that uh, we oversight uh, uh, as is necessary. Mm. But there are many other factors that are required before uh, we can say, but this has to be consistent uh, and we have to continue all the way mm. to make sure that consistent, systematic and focused. Someone was telling me the other day, hold on, boy, yeah. I know you have a point. Someone was telling me the other day, I forget who it was, but they said there was a city in America called Chicago. Yes. 30s and 40s. It was even it, as Al recent Capone. as the 70s and yes. the, Thank you. It was a Al terrible Capone, place. Al it, was, yes. it was drug infested. Mm. It was mm. mafia land. Chicago, you couldn't penetrate Chicago. Look at it today. 
So it is possible? It is possible. You can t turn things around as long as there is the will, there is the legislation. Do we have the will? Yes, of course. We have the will? Yes, they, they, we, we have to take, uh, we have to accept uh, the president declaration. I have a question for you. We him. have to have faith. Go on, ask him. Uh, no, it makes mm. me feel like we have a new president. There he's talking about this new president, he has the will. Where was he the last three years? Well, maybe he woke up to the fact, maybe, well, you know. So finally, after billions have been lost, uh, well, Gora has been fired and some six other people. By the time, by the, time the president was appointing Charity Ngilu, she was Minister of Health scandals, left. Minister of Water scandals, left. Came to the Jubilee government and worked for Ministry of Lands scandals. The, president, the problem is that the, the way the team of the president is composed, they're full of thugs as well. So I'm actually wondering, so the president is going to bite his own hand and choose well, his own just, hand. You know, I mean, we can sit here and be abusive. Mm. But what I'm, I'm abusive, saying is that saying, we, have a, we have an elected president who is in office. Yeah. Yes. He has uh, taken action already. Three years later. There yeah. are three, more than 300 uh, senior officials who are uh, facing cases of corruption in our courts as we speak. We've had six cabinet ministers lose their position, a number of permanent secretaries, a number of managing directors. The, the president is, is not a judge and a jury. Uh, the, true, The president's true. job is not yeah, true. Uh, well, like to, jail, said, hours have yes, been to jail the people. Cut. Yes, exactly. But there's no... There are other institutions that need to do that job. And they should do their job. DPP, should, do you think should, DPP is doing enough? We should hold them accountable. Who, who, all these institutions, the anti-corruption, yeah. the, the DPP office, uh, the, the judiciary, all these institutions need to come together. Every individual and every institution must be able to work uh, so, to make sure that, in fact, we defeat uh, this but, uh, monster. So, how much time do you give the president before down? we see people go to jail? You, well, you know. Uh, no, how much time do you give like the president? The president has five years mm. to do his term. He's, he's got two more years. Uh, the Kenyan public will judge him on his record yeah. come 2017. Listen. You know, we, you, can't, uh, you, you can't judge the president and make a, um, uh, make a pronouncement in the middle of. Um, of his time. It's been three years of looting, yes. retired. There's no way he woke up yeah. three years later and realized actually he's losing the country to the mafia. You know, maybe because you always volunteer yourself for marches, for arrests and all that. Yeah. Maybe you should just volunteer yourself and just say, you know, the three million I lied, I'm not really worth three million. Come on, Jeff. <laughs> just because you're rich doesn't make everyone rich. Why do you think I lied? <laughs> no, seriously, why do you think I lied? Three million? Yeah. You think I want much more? Uh, much more. I'm flattered. I'm sure George Soros is flattered too. <laughs> is that Dolly? Dolly is telling you those things. <laughs> <laughs> My friend. No, but seriously. Yeah. I think for this country to go forward, I think the president needs to sacrifice some people and they need to be jailed. Uh, and we were saying that. Because we need to Kibaki, see the public jailing. Kibaki fired people. They never went to jail. Mm. And I'm so sure. This will be the same story next day. That's what I'm asking. How much grace period do you give the president before you go back to the streets? Three months? Six months? Before you see his role? Do you know if he fought corruption, he would even the opposition would be in jail as well? Because they're both thieves there. Everybody. Everybody would be in jail, but there's one in jail. Oh, the other thing is, if we can't fight hate speech, how are you going to fight corruption? The other day, your friend Moses Kuria. <laughs> Was, did you just say my friend? Yes, he was arrested. Uh, he was denied bail. He did end up current hospital. Yeah. yeah, he never went to jail. Kenyatta. To, he wasn't even Kenyatta. Current hospital. So now, the moment he started arresting them, there's a time Patney was in Kenyatta instead of jail. We need to uh, actually remove these safeguards for the rich. When I get arrested, I never get taken to those posh police stations. They take me to Kilimani or Central. Mm. Kilimani is not posh? No, it's not posh, man. It's, there's, not even, there's not even a bulb in the cell. Come on. And there's no water. But that's side show. Okay. My point is, we, we have been unable to fight hate speech. Small, small things. Low level corruption. We don't even have a single police officer in jail for corruption. Police here power kuchukua 50 bob. How are you going to jail a minister? Knowing very well that they have powers, they intimidate witnesses. The biggest problem in this country is that the thugs have more power than the good people. But at the end of the day, Mwashimiwa, there are some good people out there, right? There are some good people. Absolutely. I think they are. Um, you, you can't... Uh, you know what uh, uh, we are dealing with here is speculation, um, rumours and gossip. Our courts uh, have recently um, uh, been given all the independence they require. We have done reforms in our judiciary. They should do their work. Uh, it is not uh, right to expect uh, a president uh, to be uh, the judge, the jury and the jailer.
I, it's we're, just not possible. We're not, we're, we're not expecting uh, him to we do have that. Already, we have already heard his message very clearly. Mm. We, I, we have already seen what has happened. There is no government in Africa that has had six ministers out. There's no government in Buhari Africa. Buhari is working, yeah. man. Buhari has only been there for 90 days. Thank you. Yeah, uh, but he's mean, actually, yeah. Magufuli is working. Has people been there been, for 100 people days. People have been arrested in yeah. Tanzania. Yeah. You're going to compare us with Tanzania now? Tanzania's yeah. Tanzania's laws are very different You're going to compare us with Tanzania. I saw the president comparing Kenya to Burundi on teacher salary. The so president, why not? The, the why not president Tanzania? of Tanzania <laughs> has executive power. <laughs> no, the president gives us a print example salaries, so why not compare to Tanzania? Has total executive yeah. power. Yes. Correct. What he's doing. Yes. Listen. So, I'm happy that the good will has come three years later. And I'm willing to give the president a chance. Mm -hmm. For the first time, we're actually doing a march in support of the president in the fight against corruption. And the support still remains, yeah. but with conditions. That this is not the usual rhetoric that he does because he wants to be re-elected. Re and I think he should think more of legacy and posterity than two terms. Mm. And that means that he need, that means you sacrifice the person who's bringing you the biggest votes because he's the most corrupt, let them go. But I think uh, um, uh, Boniface is afraid that he's going to be out of a job. Because no. all the things that uh, no. he's campaigning for no. yeah. is now been done <laughs> no. by the government. I, I, you love no. I, I said, listen, <laughs> yeah. I have a full-time job. <laughs> which, which, I'm sorry, which is what? I work at Power, and we work with the artists, and we mentor artists. We, I, I report to work every day. When was the last time I was in the streets? So the, this, it's a, <laughs> there's a fallacy. There's a fallacy that I live to protest. That's yeah. not true. <laughs> I have a job. Yeah, but you love protesting, work. don't you? No, 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 no. I stand for issues, man. Okay, do you have another march soon? No, I have a court case. <laughs> you have a court case? We are in court because we need to deliver opportunity to the president at State House. So you have a court case and we'll continue the court case. But you see, you have to understand my position here. This man is on the government side. I'm on the Kenyan side. That's why I'm here. And the reason why you go to the streets, not because you want to. It's the last resort for the poor. Mm -hmm. uh, but next week in Mombasa, we're protesting against corruption in Mombasa. You're kidding me. With Hussein Halid. <laughs> Are you serious? I just want to uh, tell Boniface if yes. he doesn't know my history. Yes. He was, a, he was an activist. I have fought he has been for there. democracy, for yeah. human rights, in for transparency yes. and accountability for my entire Be life. Very true. And uh, there are times when we were out in the streets Very true. when this country would send you to not to jail mm. but to your death. And that's how you left the country. And I have been, yes. That's how you left and the I country. have sacrificed uh, many uh, uh, years of my life so that we can enjoy the democracy that we have. So that these kids can enjoy it, right? Exactly. True. He I, doesn't need to march to State House. No. There's no need. No. All, the, all those rights are guaranteed. All those rights. So I have a right to march because they're guaranteed, right? Well, you can go to Harambe House. But Harambe. I can go, yes. OP. You no, can come to no, Parliament. No, what's wrong with State Welcome, House? Welcome, Karibu. It's a public road. State House Road is a public road. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Ashkola You're going to cause inconvenience, no. No, 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 no. traffic jams, <laughs> no, 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 no. economic loss. Well, no, no. Uh, who says, <laughs> yeah. who says mm. a protest must be convenient to anyone? No one says that. Yeah, yeah but when well, you're protesting, it's yeah. not convenient for anyone. But Boniface, let's, we let's could be, so we, would not, we didn't have the right to protest as we have now. Mm. No, people protested actually. Utawala wa moi people protested. People protested. Mm. People were shot. Mm. Actually, the, Boniface, the, let's face it. Yeah. What did you say last week? You had more posters than protesters. No, <laughs> no, we had, no, no, no. We had a private conversation. <laughs> and so, unless you're going to say where we were, and oh, who no. were we talking to, no, we no. <laughs> then don't say it. <laughs> no, we can't have a private oh, discussion. Uh, let's declare that glass broken. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> what uh, is the cost? No, before the you cost is a t-shirt each. And you have to declare it, huh? And your, your wealth. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are going to be worth a lot of money one day. <laughs> no, um, why do you wear your see, face I yourself? I need one of your t-shirts, by the way. <laughs> yeah. One of my t-shirts? Yeah. No, yeah. but I'm saying this. Mm. Let, let me tell you, a protest should not be convenient. Number one, Article 37 has no limit where you can protest or where you can yeah. pick it. Yeah. And the status road is a public road. The protected area is inside, actually, not outside. Mm. But, Mombasa, Mombasa. but what is the point you're trying to make the that point you is, need to make? The president yeah. actually operates, and all his statements come from State House on yeah. corruption and every other thing. And we're saying actually the fight must begin there. But he works at OP. Have you ever seen him there? There's no bad OP. You, you just want to get to the. Asante, <laughs> 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 Asante. Good to see you as always. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think viewers are just getting that last no. part. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was. <laughs> Big Tony Gashoka back. <laughs> it's important. Tuchachangia ya pesa ya kwenda kotini. Mutachanga? Tuchachanga. He has a right to say what he has to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're worth three million. Mutachanga. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much we paid? Inakubane na kuwasha. But Moshinua, thank you for what you did for this country. Well done. Declaring your wealth. And those ghost workers at parliament, 
And then show me how I The ghost man, you know? tweeting <laughs> at, at, MP, <laughs> at MP Yusuf Hassan, at Boniface Mwangi, at Koinanga Jeff. The hashtag, State of the Nation. On this World Anti-Corruption Day, what a conversation. It's great to have, like Moshimiwa says, people speaking up without fear of favor, without fear of being arrested, killed, jailed, detained, you name it. And one more thing, he left the country, I'll never leave, I'll be here. No matter what happens. You probably don't have a passport. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeff, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Tomorrow night, <laughs> we're going to continue the conversation. I'm going to have two great gentlemen. Bob Colimo. No. Oh, he's not going to come. You know, you know I'm going to... I might ask for your time. Go on, <laughs> Jamuhuri Day special. I'm going to feature Polika Pigate. Uh -huh. Yeah, CEO, Vivo Energy. And Kenjiru. Okay. Nguana man tomorrow night right here on Jeff Kunangi Live. Thanks so much for watching. Good night. Good luck. <laughs> and then let me a t-shirt. <laughs> How much oh. do you sell this? Uh this is free. <laughs>